Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. The Andals have been crossing the narrow sea into Westeros for hundreds of years now, carving out kingdoms both great and small, killing and claiming the lands of the savage first men, the abominations of the deep woods and their savage false gods. As their power and influence grows in these foreign lands however, the Andal kingdoms in the east fall one by one to the pressure of the advancing dragon lords. The few remaining kingdoms have no choice but to also cross the narrow sea or submit themselves to a lifetime of slavery under the Valyrians. Angus Sevenstar, a young and ambitious knight, decides it is time to cross the narrow sea and claim lands of his own for the future of his family and people. Most of the petty first main kingdoms have already collapsed or been half consumed by his fellow Andals, but one kingdom still remains untouched, the biggest kingdom of them all, the North. Many Andals have tried and failed to take and settle these frozen lands, claiming it to be impossible. The people of these lands are too barbaric and numerous with great defences. The last time an Andal warlord tried to take these lands, their savage king sailed east to Andalos, killing and slaughtering the small folk and knights alike in their thousands, before taking their heads on pikes to line their eastern shores to warn any would-be conquerors what would become of them if they once again dared to step on his lands. Many of Engor's people's heads now line that coast. Out of ambition, revenge and maybe pure stupidity, Engor promises to settle these lands and forge his own kingdom bringing an end to these savage heathens and their false gods while spreading the true faith of the Seven and forging his own legend. <laughs> 